Well, we're here at Africa Down Under again, and I'm joined by former ambassador of Tanzania, Ami Mpungwe. Uh, Ami, thank you very much for joining us here. I, I deeply appreciate uh, the, the invitation and all the arrangements made uh, for us. Well, there's been lots of arrangements this year because uh, the Tanzanian uh, representation here at this conference is, is, is really remarkable yes. and much bigger than we've seen in recent years at this conference. Is that an indication that, that things have changed in Tanzania? It's a clear sign. You know, you can't better get any better sign than this one, that uh, uh, Tanzania is back. Uh, you know, we had in the past developed the mining sector to a huge extent, and then uh, for some, some, some reasons we, we, we went backwards. But now uh, I think uh, the new leadership uh, uh, in Tanzania now is... Uh, quite clear and deeply committed to, to you know, accelerating growth in all sectors, but particularly for the mining sector, which has got huge potential in Tanzania. Where do you see that potential for, for mining in Tanzania? Is it across commodities or is it in certain areas? No, I think uh, uh, Tanzania is a uh, person class in so many areas. Um, certainly, and precisely because uh, it, the exploration work has not been done, but the, the little explore, exploration process that has taken place has uh, revealed the great potential that uh, the country has. And uh, some experts, I'm not an expert in, in mining, <coughs> but uh, they, they say, and especially the Australian, they say the geology of Tanzania is quite similar to Western. Australia. So, <laughs> given what it is in Western Australia, I believe, you know, we have much more there in Tanzania. So, so it's quite exciting. And it's good that uh, we are back in, uh, in pushing, you know, a lot of exploration work and uh, developing the few projects that have already been uh, identified. And you could tell from uh, the session yesterday on Tanzania, well attended, you know, about nine companies, Presenting different projects at different stages, uh, and, uh, and you know strong representation from the government, you know, outlining how deeply committed it is to uh, to, to fostering investments in, in a number of areas. So it's quite an exciting time. It is an exciting time. You mentioned a couple of times there this unique, almost unique connection between Australia and Western Australia and Tanzania. And of course, in your role as chairman of capital in, in Tanzania, you experience that. What is, what is it about the connection between Australia and, and Tanzania that makes it makes the two countries so tight when it comes to mining? Well, it's not only geology. And as you know, historically, we are both members of the Commonwealth. So we have those... Uh, uh, historic links as uh, Commonwealth countries, uh, and, and personally, I must say, you've been referring to me as ambassador. Let me tell you, my first, uh, uh, when I joined the Foreign Service, my, my first uh, task was I uh, was a desk officer for Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and I first came to Australia uh, for training in 1997 in, in Canberra. So you can at personal level, you, you can also trace how how uh, how, how deeply committed uh, I am to this uh, relationship, but it certainly existed uh, at national level. So, so the the similarity in in geology, but also other advantages that Tanzania. It's not only geology, but we also have a history, a post-independence history of uh, absolute peace and stability. Uh, which is quite needed, you know, you don't rely on geology alone. <laughs> <laughs> you need that history of peace and stability. And, uh, but also, we have geography. Uh, that not only keeps Australia and Tanzania closer, you know, I think uh, the closest contact, uh, other than Madagascar and other islands, yeah, the mainland Africa, uh, but uh, geography that within uh, East and Southern African, you know, we, we are geographically well, well located strategically and uh, surrounded by about six uh, landlocked neighbors who, who rely on 
on Tanzania for their imports and exports. So at a wider scale in mineral development in Africa, we will also play a role not only for ourselves, but also for the neighborhood there. So it's a factor that uh, uh, comes in. And then uh, beyond uh, history, geography, geology, <laughs> we, we have other resources that uh, would uh, complement to whatever is taking place in those areas. We have uh, biodiversity assets that are unmatched. I'm sure you, you have heard about the migration in Serengeti. Uh, you know, we have uh, the Gorongoro crater, the Kilimanjaro, for those who are adventurous. And also, you can trace history there through Zanzibar and, uh, you know, and the fine beaches and the historical uh, architecture there. That, uh, and, um, and so in other areas, the, the, the agricultural potential, you know, which could fit into mining very easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can certainly yeah. vouch for the beauty of Tanzania, oh, yeah. having traveled there many times, oh, and, yeah, yeah. And, the, and the beauty of, of, of the people, and, uh, and of course, its mining potential. I um, mean, thank you for joining us today, and I hope you have a great rest of the Africa down under, and we see you again next year. Thank you so very much. You know, I can't miss it. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> thank you so much.